Time for the big number tonight. A lot of concerns would have you think President Obama has raised taxes on the American people the last year. But according to a new report from the Bureau of Economic Analysis, federal, state, and local taxes accounted for just 9.2% of all personal income in 2009. That's well below the historic average of 12%. In fact, when was the last time tax levels were at this level? 1950. Let me finish tonight with a fact. At times, facts can be upsetting. They can also be illuminating. Have we been paying higher taxes under President Obama? That's a real zinger when you listen to the right. Look at the signs. Hear the screaming. Check the racket on the radio. He's killing us with taxes. You hear? Killing us. Well, as the great man, uh, Senator Patrick Moynihan of New York once said, we're entitled to our own opinions, not to our own facts. And here they are. In the first year of the Obama administration, the total tax load on the American people came to 9.2% of personal income, a bit less than one-tenth. That's the lowest piece of our income that the government has taken since 1950, six decades ago. You know, when Harry Truman was walking those walks around the White House. Well, like everyone else, I stare at my gross income and then at what I actually get, and I wish I got that first number. What I can't do is say that tax in this country went up last year because they didn't. Today's tea parties were inspired by something CNBC's Rick Santelli once said, or Rush Limbaugh said, or somebody said, fair enough, they're entitled to their opinions and their own passions, even if they are a tad derivative, but not to their own facts. Under Obama, thanks to the stimulus bill, thanks to the progressive rates based on income, we paid less taxes. As I said, sometimes facts can be upsetting, they can also be illuminating.